what you want, life is what you got. Life ain't what you want, life is what you got. Come on, yeah, come on, Woo. come on. Life ain't what you want, life is what you got. Life ain't what you want, it's what you fucking got. Come on. Party on, Donald. Party on. Party on, guys. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to Life's a Beach. Uh, let's start off, as you saw at the top of the at the opening of the show. Uh, horror fans around the world lost a uh, well, a pioneer in the industry, really, this past week when uh, George A. Romero passed away at age 77. Those of you who don't know, George A. Romero was the father of zombies. Like, basically created zombies. Yeah. Not the name zombies, but made what the modern zombie today is that we still see what it is. This started back in the 60s. 1968. Of course, it had zombie movies before that, but back then they were uh, more... Well, known as voodoo zombies, where it's like they just take living people and kind of make them slaves with like supernatural forces and stuff. Like a white zombie in 1932. Yeah. Yeah. Romero came up with Night of the Living Dead in 1968 and revolutionized horror forever. Without Romero, we wouldn't have any of the shows that people watch today. Like. Walking Dead, or I Zombie, or Zombie Nation, all this stuff, and all these other movies. Which we grew up with them calling, calling them zombies. Now you hear walkers. They're called walkers now. I like the change of the language that we have. <coughs> Everybody walks, though. Yeah, so I'm a walker. Yeah. <laughs> Why is a walker walking? I'm not a runner, by no means. Unless I see his walker, I'll be running. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Romero, I mean, without Romero, I don't think there would be zombie anything right now. No. Not like, you know, how we know it. And he, he's the one that, you know, come up with their, their, you know, you die and they just rise back up and the only way you can kill them is destroying the brain. Like, you know, they're flesh eaters, all that, so... Yeah, not brain eaters. Yeah, brain. not brains. Interesting though, the brains Return come from Return of the Living, Return of the Living yeah. Dead, which it's funny because Return of the Living Dead is kind of a sequel series to Night of the Living Dead. But the first they kind of changed it, and it was more slapstick, comedy-ish, and and then you couldn't. You got to where. I think it was like a military experiment or something, wasn't it? Was yeah. Well, the first one was made in Louisville, Kentucky. It was made in Louisville, <clears throat> Kentucky, and it said it was based on a true story. Return of the Living Dead, that's what they said it was based on a true story, which I don't care. I don't think it's based on a <laughs> true story. But it was in Louisville, Kentucky, which is, makes it more fresh. Didn't they have, like, toxic barrels? Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Remember that building <clears throat> we used to break in? Yeah, we used to have those barrels in it. We was like, we were, uh, damn, we was like, what, 10 or 11 yeah. years old? We get stuck in this building. It was like a bunch of barrels everywhere. And we was like, there must be bodies in these barrels. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Return of the Living Dead wound up making it to where they, like, they couldn't be killed. Like, they just had to be contained. Yeah, and they they put like a funny feel to it. It wasn't really, like, there was a lot of mm -hmm. fun, uh, like funny moments in them. See, the funny thing is, the, the guy that made Return of the Living Dead, John uh, Russo, was the co-writer with Romero on Night of the Living Dead. And uh, when Night of the Living Dead came out in 1968, it was originally, the working title was Night of the Flesh Eaters. But when it got ready to come out, they changed it to Night of the Living Dead, but the guy, like the distributor or whatever, forgot to copyright it. So it was never copywritten. So Night of the Living Dead, I mean, you can download Night of the Living Dead legally because it's not copyrighted. 
That's why there's so many fucking different remakes of it, and so many people take movies and base off of that, like their own sequels kind of to it. Yeah. But uh, because of it not being copyrighted, Romero, I mean, the movie was like a hundred and I can't remember, a hundred and something thousand dollar budget, and grossed over like thirty. 30 million or 30 billion? I think it's like 30 million. Upwards of like 46 million. Romero didn't see a dime of it. And if he did, it was like very little. Because it wasn't copyrighted, he didn't see it. The distributor that forgot to copyright it made a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Gee. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, then Day of the Dead. That's right. And Land of the Dead. Diary of the Dead, Survival of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead was pretty cool. Now, Day of the Dead had had the uh, artist that uh, that normally does the makeup. Oh, uh, um, yeah. oh, fuck. He went to, uh, <laughs> he actually went to Vietnam and seen dead bodies. Yeah, and the same one, Friday 13th. And that's how he learned how to put, make all that magic happen, I guess. I don't you know, his name just left my mind. We can we'll go back to it, yeah. I can see the dude. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the whole copyright deal, when, uh, because of that, uh, Russo and Romero wouldn't see an eye to eye for the sequel. So and they, they, so they he split. He ain't no kind of Vince uh, Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at what he did with zombies. So he might be kind of Vince Russo, the wrestling writer. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they split because they couldn't see eye to eye on the, you know, whether they wanted to take the sequel. So during that, Russo got the rights to the Living Dead moniker. And then Romero got Of the Dead. So that's why I went Night of the Living Dead, then Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, instead of the Living in it. And then had Russo with Return of the Living Dead, which he didn't even do until like 83. And the first one was in 68, so. Now the now the Night of the Living Dead back in the nineties. Uh, now George Romero did he do that? There's like I think four or five different remakes. There's Night of the Living Dead three D. It's got like Sid Haig in it from uh, like House of a Thousand Corpses, Captain Spaulding. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean Romero changed the game with, with, with his zombies, and now we'll there'll be no more. There'll be no more of the dead movies. I'm sure there'll be reboots and remakes, but it won't be the same. Tom Savini. Tom Savini's oh, his name. Yeah. 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 Makeup. He's a great makeup artist. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, the Dead movies and Friday the 13th. And he was in, God, in the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Uh, he, was in he, was in, he was in the original Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. He was one of the bikers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember in, from Dusk Till Dawn when he had the penis gun. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, that has been for... Damn. So, of course, our condolences go out to the Romero family and his friends. He's a true pioneer in the industry of the genre, especially. And yes. It's like, you know, without him and Wes Craven now, it's like, where are we going, man? Yeah. John Cover just do it. John Carpenter, as long as he makes it to, uh, I mean, I hope he makes it forever. I mean, his initials are JC, yeah. so maybe if he does, he'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, and make a good Halloween. Yeah, but he's got he's got the uh, producing the new Halloween that's coming out next year. But uh, mixed feelings on the writers. Uh, Danny McBride, I mean, really? I don't see how a, a comedy writer is going to come in and write Halloween. If, he, if he's a fan of Halloween and John's like, okay, yeah, sure, write it. You know, we know what happened the last time there was a fan of Halloween, write it. Rob Zombie. And that's bullshit. And the White Horse. Yeah. I liked it. Damn it, I can't I can't yeah, say I it enough. I like it. Yeah, the door. I like it. <laughs> I like the, 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 the Rob Zombie, Zombie Halloween movie. <laughs> but anyways, it's Halloween's next year. We've got... Uh, a lot of slashers coming back this year. Uh, Cult of Chucky. We've seen the new trailer for that. Part 7, right? Mm -hmm. 
And Leatherface. Leatherface. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. And Portal. Halloween, too. But, um, you know, watching <clears throat> Halloween, but I, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking forward to Leatherface. Cause, I mean, it's interesting that they're going back now after a whole series of movies, and now they're going back and did Texas Chainsaw. It was a direct sequel to the 1974 version, and now they're going back and making a prequel to the 1974 version where Leatherface is becoming Leatherface and all that. And the trailer looks amazing. Like, I was like, okay, this... This looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So I just hope the uh, hope it's very short with him being a child. Hope it's very mm -hmm. short. Now you see, you see him like as a kid, like a birthday party, and she's like, "Hey, here's your present. It's a fucking chainsaw." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Ooh." Should have been the one. We got machetes for you. Remember <laughs> me? You got machetes. <laughs> when we was younger, we was like about yeah. seven, eight, nine years old. We get sh machetes. Yeah, we and did. we're outside chopping trees down, building clubhouses. It should have been. Uh, it should have been the chainsaw from the part three of the original series, Leatherface, with the chainsaw that had inscribed on the blade like the saw was family. Oh yeah. I always loved yeah. that saw and like gold and had them like spikes mm -hmm. and shit around it. Mm -hmm. But uh the cult of Chucky. What about the, the Chucky looking like the original good guy doll again? Yeah. He's back oh, to no awesome. scars, he's back to just, just being creepy. Yeah, in Curse of Chucky he didn't like have the scars but he had like this weird like girly look to him. He had like long hair and then you know like, later pulled his his prosthetics off and it was scarred again. But no, I mean, Don Mancini's taking it back to like the way it was in 88 with the first Child's Play and Child's Play 2. What else got We saw the trailer for Jigsaw. Another movie, another movie where they, instead of being Saul, they've started changing it to the name of the killer. Yep. Same way they do with... Leatherface and Jason Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, Jason like Jason X, you know. Yeah. Steer away from the... And Chucky. Freddy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Charles played to Chucky. They take eventually. They're just like they let's just go with their Michael name. They haven't like that yet. It's always been Halloween. Let's hope they don't. Like, yeah, they haven't done that yet. <laughs> but uh, Jigsaw looks pretty bad. Uh, so. Of course, they got Pinhead. Is that a Hellraiser? They have one so Pinhead, don't they? No, no. no. Well, but nice segue. Head. Hellraiser Judgment comes out this yeah. year. The tenth Hellraiser. They're coming up. You know, I ain't watched them all yet. Really? <laughs> Cut the camera off. off. We're going to watch them. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just go watch them all the right couple. now. I've watched a couple of them. I don't know how many's out. I, seriously. I they're, 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 this will be 10. Oh, this will be 10. Yeah. Yeah. It's on up there. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good, though. First it, two was my favorite, though. They're so fucking That's probably why. I probably three, 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 three was good. Three yeah. was good. Hellraiser. Then Hellraiser Hellbound and Hellraiser... Hell on Earth was part three. But, uh, I think I'm about to get fired. <laughs> Just like the, it's like the, uh, we was talking about, you know, Dusk Till Dawn, you know, yeah. talking about the vampires, and I'll be the one to like Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like well, it. Zombie I movies. Liked well, it, but zombie but, movies. Yeah. Would you like warm bodies? The <laughs> zombie bodies. That falls in love with a girl and becomes human again. It is a decent <laughs> movie, but it it's right. not like my it favorite. Right. It's very it creative uh, movie, but yeah, I liked it. Uh, I'm gonna watch a zombie. <laughs> <I'm> zombie. <laughs> what do you uh, think about? What do you think about? Uh, not a bad show. Probably. Really, mm -hmm. I haven't watched it. It's pretty good. Which I'm the guy who quit watching Walking Dead like halfway through the third season. Yeah. And all these kids, oh, Walkers, they're fucking zombies. <laughs> Call them by their name. Pay yeah. respect to George fucking Romero. Yeah, Pumpkinhead. So <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkinhead! <laughs> we're, we're about due for another fucking Pumpkinhead movie. Mm -hmm. We've got, what is there, five Pumpkinhead movies? I think we could go for another one. Hey, what about that other trailer we seen? Snowman. That looked oh, pretty decent. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be stupid, but it kind of looked... It, it intrigued me a little bit. Are we done? Snowman. Yes. Are we done, with, are we done talking about horror? Yeah. yeah. We sat here and rambled. Yeah. Once again, incoherently, as we always do. Yeah. We get and lost in our own horror world. Yes. 
For those of you out there that are horror fans, you're going to love it. <laughs> oh, please like and subscribe, please. Definitely. And, uh, yeah. I guess so. Thank you for watching. Yes. Next yes. time. We'll see you next time. This is our horror. We were going to talk about basically like the new Chucky, but there's so many other horror movies coming out that we just kind of went on yeah. and on and on. Well, so, until next time. Yeah, hey, hey, good fright. Good night. <laughs> I want to play a game. So far in what could loosely be called your life, you've made a living watching others. Oh yes. There will be blood.